Hi there. Today we're going to learn how to put a plywood bottom on our boat. The chine and the garboard have been planed completely flat, so now the bottom can go on. It's a single sheet of marine plywood. We use a marine plywood for our bottoms. It's 3 eighths of an inch thick, which is plenty thick enough. The nice thing about marine plywood is that it's made with what they call an African mahogany, so it's naturally rot resistant. It's a tropical hardwood. There are supposed to be no voids inside of any of these layers, and the glue that they use is water resistant. This marine plywood also has seven layers or plies in a three eighths of an inch of thickness, which makes it very strong and very bendable. First thing I did was cut out the shape of the bottom. I took the piece of plywood and I laid it on the bottom of the boat and I traced it out. You can also do this by measuring at each station to get the shape. You can see that I had to lengthen the piece of plywood, which was only eight feet long. I had to add about two feet onto it. I cut a scarf joint to make this happen. Now that the bottom is ready to go, I'm going to take some adhesive and I'm going to spread it over all the surfaces that are going to touch the bottom. Now I'm going to take the bottom, put it in place, and temporarily fasten it with two screws because all the adhesive is going to make it want to slide. I'm going to use a marking gauge that has a set distance between the bottom and the upper fingers so that it will tell me exactly where to put the screw. It's an offset that allows the screw to go right down through the center of the chine. Obviously I can't see it, but this gauge should work if I hold it correctly. The marking gauge is specific for each boat, and it locates the screw so they will go into the center of the chine. Keep in mind, the screws must go in parallel to the plank in order for them to land in the center of the chine. After drawing the screw line with the marking gauge, mark off every 4 inches along this line. This will ensure adequate screw coverage. So now it's time to drill a bunch of holes and put some screws in. I'm going to use one inch long bronze screws. They're not super long, but they will go through the bottom into the chine and hold everything nice and tight. So it's important that when I put my holes in, I don't hold my drill perpendicular to the floor. I want to angle it out so it's roughly parallel to the side of the boat. This will ensure that the screws don't go through the chine and up into the inside of the boat. Keep in mind that this angle changes as you go from the stern to the bow. So we're on the inside of the boat. I always like to look up and see after I've done a couple to make sure nothing has come through. This is the area where the screws have gone in. I don't see anything. You can see here 
and here and here, there's a good squeeze out of the adhesive. That means that the screws are going in well. So it looks like my line is good. I just need to put the rest of the screws in. Okay, so most of the screws are in the bottom. We still have to fasten at the transom. Um, and in order to do that, we need to project the angle of the transom up and over the overlap of the plywood. Okay, so I need to project the angle of the transom up onto the bottom of the boat. And to do that, I'm gonna use a reach around tool, which is basically a straight line with a curve cut out of it so it'll reach around stuff. So the point that I mark with my pencil is where the transom will project up onto the plywood. If I connect these two points, I'll have a line that tells me where the outside face of the transom is, and then I can go in a little bit more so that I know my screw will land right in the center of the transom. I'm gonna go in five eighths of an inch along that, which is a mount that I know will be right in the center of my transom. I'm also gonna set up a bevel gauge at the angle of the transom so I can index my angle of my drill bit, make sure that I go right into the heart of the transom. I'm looking at the bottom on the inside at the transom and don't see any screws coming through. You can see there's a fair amount of squeeze out along the way. Looks like a nice tight joint. Okay, so that was a very brief explanation of how to put a bottom on. Next thing for me to do is to trim the edges and then we can take the boat off of the jig.